I get a lot of questions asking which football boots work the best with an ankle brace. And the real answer to that question is none of them. An ankle brace adds a significant amount of bulk and size to your ankle and heel area. And football boots as a whole are quite slim fitting. So when you try to combine the two, it typically doesn't work that well. And with that in mind, this being the inspiration for this video, have you ever noticed that pro footballers never play with an ankle brace. And I'm not talking about the thin neoprene sleeve type of ankle brace. I'm talking about the big one with the plastic on the sides, the laces up the middle, an ankle brace that actually prevents your ankle from bending. Now I'm sure there has been some pro at some point in time who wore a large ankle brace in a match, but in general, I think most people would agree when you watch a professional match, no one is wearing ankle braces or knee braces. So why is that? Well, I think the number one reason comes down to the fact that you don't want an opposing player to see any kind of weakness. If you're wearing a large ankle brace, if you're wearing a knee brace, if you're wearing something on your body that points specifically to an injury or a weakness that you might have, guess what? You basically have given them a target to exploit that weakness. And maybe that sounds a little bit harsh because at the recreational level, you're gonna find a lot of people wearing knee braces and ankle braces and no one is attacking their knees every time they play. But at the professional level, where they are basically the best players in the world trying to gain any kind of a competitive advantage period, you can't tell me that a guy like Sergio Ramos, if he saw the striker wearing a giant ankle brace, that he wouldn't make a point to try and foul that guy right on that ankle in that exact spot knowing that he has some kind of an injury. It's pretty much guaranteed to happen. And even if you were wearing that ankle brace or knee brace, not because you have an injury, but more as a precautionary type brace to prevent an injury, the fact that you have made that knee or that ankle a target now definitely is not gonna help your case. And I guess what's also worth noting in regards to pro footballers is you are exactly that, a pro footballer, meaning it's the only thing that you really have to worry about all day every single day and typically these pro footballers are compensated very very well for their effort so it's not only in the interest of the pro footballer themselves but also in the interest of the clubs to make sure that all of their players that are on their payroll are as healthy as possible and able to perform at optimal levels so if that player has to wear an ankle brace in order to run or play a 90 minute match very, very likely they wouldn't be willing to pay you or you just wouldn't be deemed fit to play. If you've got bad knees to the point where you need to wear a knee brace in order to play, you're probably not gonna be a pro footballer anyways. And in the case of ankle support, if you really need that to play, taping your ankles is a much better way to go. And what we commonly see at the professional level, taping your ankles is gonna provide just as much, if not more support than a large bulky ankle brace will. And it still maintains a very low profile look. And I don't think anyone is targeting other players on the pitch who have their ankles taped, that's gonna be underneath their socks anyway. So that I wouldn't view as a big deal. And that's definitely the way to go if you're looking to add ankle support, still fit in your boots properly, and just maintain a low profile look where you're not necessarily saying, hey, my ankles are weak, come and hit them. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you should be afraid to wear your ankle brace or your knee brace if it's something that you physically need in order to play, especially at the recreational level. But I think the one thing that I've seen a lot of over the years, especially when I used to work at a soccer store, is people become very dependent on these braces and they're not really made to be permanent things. It's more of a temporary rehabilitation tool so when you do injure yourself, as you're recovering, yes, it might be helpful to use a knee brace or an ankle brace to kind of further help along the recovery, but you should definitely get to a point, especially if you're young, to where you don't need the braces anymore. With Google, with the internet in general, there's so much information out there. Obviously, if you have access to a physiotherapist or some kind of a doctor to help you along that rehabilitation process, that's even better. But I really do feel that if you've injured yourself, you need to re rehabilitate your body to a point where it is strong enough to not require the braces anymore. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Just wanted to share that information with you because I do get asked about this pretty frequently. If you have anything to add or any questions regarding what I talked about in this video, feel free to leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful and informative, please support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Now other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.